Hey, what's happening? My apologies, everyone. My apologies. Uh, hopefully, my sound is working and operating. Uh, Got to get a couple more glitches that we had in here getting started. Uh, hopefully, I can get those away here in a second so we can get this ball on the road. I appreciate you guys being patient with me here. Now, go ahead and let me know in the comments where you are located at. That'll let me know if you are here today and if you can hear me. So go ahead once again. Let me know in the comments where you're located at. Uh, we're going to get interactive today. I'm talking about a tool that can help you uh, find some government contracting opportunities that we've developed here. Um, I'm excited to show this to you guys. Uh, just trying to log into the tools here. Uh, and I want to actually do a demo with somebody live. Uh, so if you do know your NAICS code, so again, your NAICS code, hopefully you do know your NAICS code, um, you go ahead and put that in the chat there, and um, I can use you actually as a live demo. Uh, but here we go. We got soda in the building. What's going on with you? I appreciate you for being here from Seattle, Washington. That's what I'm talking about. Seattle, Washington is in the house. I also forgot I got a delay, too, so I got to remember that. I got about a 30-second delay from when I talk to when you guys can hear me. Uh, so... Anyways, let's see who else we got here in the house. Um, we got Larry, what's happening with you, from Hampton, Virginia. Two up, two down, VA. Graduate from Virginia State, 757. I've walked those roads many a times. Uh, who else do we have in the building? We have uh, Allah Intelligence. I'm guessing that's a company name right there. Uh, but out of Elizabeth, New Jersey, what's going on with you? I appreciate you for being here as well. Once again, you guys should also take this stuff as networking opportunities. You know, if you see somebody in the comments from where you at, I'll let them slide in a DM. I don't know. Can you DM on YouTube? I don't know. Great question. I didn't think about that one. But anyways, make sure you're networking with each other. Jennifer Bell, what's going on, Jennifer? I appreciate you being here. North Carolina in the building. Who else we got? Uh, Mr. Swack guy from Mississippi. What's going on? My man, Tony from Mississippi. Uh, but let's get ready to dive into this thing. I appreciate you guys adding your information there. I do see that we have a NAICS code that somebody put up in here, and I'm going to actually use that as the demo here. We got Mr. Swaggy guy. Okay. So I'm going to use you as our demo for today. And I'm going to be talking about our software, uh, pure money software, small business money flow. Uh, I'm telling you guys right now, for all small businesses out there, uh, this is going to be the one tool that you're going to need to execute everything in your business. I mean everything. And you can eliminate all of these charges from all this other stuff. It's really built out to help a small business grow. And we're going to show you something important about it today as far as the government contracting side and why you really are going to want to dive into this immediately here so you can take advantage of what we built uh, coming into this fourth quarter of government contracting here. But uh, let me get started here. Also, don't forget, make sure that you are sharing this out uh, with some other entrepreneur that you know here uh, to make sure that they could take advantage of this information as well. Now, this tool can be found at SB moneyflow.com. You can get yourself registered, uh, but I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can utilize this to build a million dollars worth of government contracting. And uh, it's not going to be anywhere near as hard as you guys think that it is. It's actually going to be fairly, fairly easy to, um, especially to my tech people. I was going to say to all my tech people out there, but uh, the tech people is going to be extremely easy too, but it's actually going to be easy to everybody. Again, all you're going to have to do is follow along the directions that we have laid out for you, and you're going to be good to go here. Now, let me see if I can get rid of myself on this screen. That ain't what I want to do. Okay. Um, well, let me pull it up on both screens. It'll make it a whole lot easier this way. Uh, duh, 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 duh. See if I can get me up out of this way. 
Now back here in the background is actually what we have here, but I'm trying to see if I can move me up out of this way. Uh, I told you we was having some technical difficulties. There I go. Okay. So this is SB money flow. And what's going to happen here is as soon as you log in and get started, uh, we've built the AI tool that all you have to do is walk through the steps that we've laid out right here. And it's going to help you build your business profile. And this is going to become important when I talk about building your million dollar pipeline of government contracting opportunities. Definitely for my small businesses. I'm actually uh, building support for you, building a staff for you that's going to blow your business out of the water. Now, this is the tool that goes behind systems. So the more you know how to develop your systems, the better that this tool is going to be for you. But as soon as you get the software, you're going to come here, log in, go to your left hand side, come down here uh, to this section that says pure money AI market. And then you're going to follow the steps one through nine. I know we missed number three, but just follow the steps of one through nine. It's going to walk you through setting up your entire company. Now, this is going to help all of your email marketing out. This is going to help uh, your CRM, your follow ups, all of your tasks and really build your business for you all in this one platform. But what I want to focus on with you guys today is building that million dollar pipeline of government contracting. So once you get started up in the tool and set up, the next thing I want you to do is come down here to this task tab that says GovCon market. Now, this GovCon market is designed so we can get you guys up and running, if we could refresh here, uh, and find government contracting opportunities a whole lot faster uh, than you guys searching all day on Sam.gov. My internet's been acting up here. My apologies, guys. Uh, that's what had us uh, slow getting on here. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on. Uh, new to the system. I appreciate you for being here, although you are new to the system. All right, I may have to just open another tab here, see if that'll get us rolling. Of course, my internet wanted to start to act up as soon as we came live. I see that it's getting choppy on my live stream, too. Yes, we are having issues. Guess I need to log back in here. My apologies, my good people. Let me get this thing back up and operating. Guess they kicked us off. As you guys can see, the tool also does have security features because you will be having, uh, you know, people's financial information on here, hopefully, because you can process and take charges on this tool as well. Again, we're just going to be dealing with the CRM if my internet can get me in here. It's been a tough day in tech world. All right, let me see if my other screen has it up. All right, we're in. You do. All right. So what you're going to do is come down here. Uh, I need to find my um, screen. There we go. What you're going to do is you're going to come down here. And if you know your next code, so I said that we're going to start. What is that next code that I found? We're going to use Mr. Uh, Swag Guy 99's next code 488510. We're going to go search by next code uh, 488510. All right. Freight transportation arrangement. We're going to put that bad boy in right there. Hit search. All right. Now you can come in here and actually, um, narrow. You should sign in here too and make an account right there. Um, so you can look at all your opportunities, but you can come down here and narrow things to state contracts, federal contracts, uh, you know, pre-bid, already awarded, blah, 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 blah. Now, here's the thing. The goal is to find the opportunity, okay? You click here. You see the opportunity. 
you see the due dates. Now, let me switch things up here for you guys so you guys can get a better view. Now, you should have two windows open or, you know, however you work things out here. Uh, let me shorten this screen up for you. And let me get this back here so we can actually. Okay. I'm just going to have to log back in. That's not what I wanted to do. My bad. I got to move some screens. I'm working on this smaller screen uh, so I can split this stuff up for you guys so you can see. All right. So we're going to come right here. All right. And now we have our two screens open. So we can see the opportunity that the government contract has out here available for us. Uh, it has a start date, uh, a due date. Of course, that's for the actual opportunity that they put in here. Um, now, since this is a looks like it's probably going to be a federal opportunity Department of Defense. Um, it'll take us to the actual link. Well, notice there da, 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 of the government where they've posted it. I really should have filtered these out to make sure that they were live opportunities. All right. So click there to take us to, so we got to go behind a, a, a wall for this, uh, DLA opportunity. So it's kind of a little more difficult <laughs> for me to show you um, how easy this stuff is going to be when that one gets a little bit harder. So anyways, let me get back out of here so we can actually find something. Let me do marketing or no, I said I was going to do your transportation. My apologies. Four, eight, eight, five, one, zero, four, eight, eight, five, one, zero. All right. Get off my screen. Let me just sign in. This is getting on my nerves. All right. Now, where were we at? Uh, da, 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 da. 488510. Do, do. Now, let's go to refine search, and we're actually going to change this. Um, see if we have something for all right, GSA. Is that. Do, do, do. All right, so we got a pre-bid notification for GSA down in Jacksonville. Okay, again, well, these are just already awarded information. Dang it. All right, <laughs> I'm going to have to get off of your transportation one for now. Because um, the one that, or I guess I could have looked at some of the other uh, opportunity ones. Let me go back here. Change that. I'll do customer type. So the one federal one that I found was behind um, DLA's uh, wall. So I couldn't see it. I was hoping that it went straight to SAM.gov so I, I could find it a little bit better. But obviously it didn't go straight to SAM.gov. Of course, when I want to do stuff live... It won't pop up. All right. So that's a bid. Let's do mail brokerage services. See what this is about. Now, anyways, I'm just going to take this one. Um, however, it comes and show you guys how to operate the tool here, because some of the most important parts of government contracting is having a CRM and staying up to date with you guys got going on. So what you do here again, you log into your tool. You come down here to the government marketplace and you can see all of the opportunities. Now this is expired, but we're still going to walk through the tool. All right. So what you would do once you get there, you're going to come to your other part of the tool that we have labeled here called opportunities. And with the opportunities, we've built out the CRM for you. And what you're going to do is come over here, um, create a new opportunity. I got to find my window now because I shortened my thing. All right. So there's an opportunity tab right here, but my window's shortened. So it's messing up my view. Slide it back in. And all you're going to do is start filling out this information here. So again, all of the opportunities should have a contact person on there. You're going to make sure you put in that contact person's name. Now, I did one earlier. 
uh, we got uh, Ben Franklin from the transit. So I went ahead and put his information in there. Now, when you start filling this in an opportunity, it's going to create this contact inside of your CRM. The other beauty about this, the more that you start responding to opportunities, you'll see the customer that you consistently start responding to and communicating to. As well as with this CRM, you're going to start to see the customer that you're actually winning with. Now, these are people that we should build better relationships with. And as we get deeper into the pure money, small business money flow, uh, we'll set automations up that can respond to the government agency and follow up with them without you doing all of the actual work sitting down there day to day. It's just a follow up campaign. And I mean, the tool is literally um, capable for your mind of how you want things to flow to happen. But most importantly, we're going to start building this pipeline. So let me change off Ben Franklin and make somebody else up. We'll do Mike or I guess I should just go through the opportunity here. huh? <laughs> Since it was already awarded, I didn't want to do it. All right. So we're going to click on the solicitation. OK, you see the solicitation here. The name of the opportunity is called mail brokerage services. So I'm going to come over here, change opportunity name to mail brokerage services. Okay, we got a solicitation number of FA2000, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna bring that one over here and we're gonna come down here to solicitation number and throw that in there. Okay, now we have Jesse Bridges is our contact person. So we're gonna go ahead, take that out of there. Okay, bring it over into here. You know what, it may erase all that other stuff. We're gonna add them as a contact right there. Uh, we got our email for Jesse Bridges right here. We're going to copy that email address. We're going to bring that over to here. Okay, we got a phone number for Jesse. Okay, we're going to copy this phone number. You guys, I hope you guys are seeing how all this stuff starts to make sense now. All right, now we got every all the information over there. Now we got the name of the opportunity. We're going to add this to our GovCon CRM pipeline. This is a new opportunity. The status of it is open. Now, you should know the dollar amount. Um, you know, I don't want to read through all of this and find the actual value of this contract. But you should know the value of the contract. So we're going to put that the value of this contract is 1. I was about to put 1.5. Uh, 5 million, 1.5 million. Okay. And the owner of it is you because you're the only person in your system. Now, this is where it becomes clutch if you have a staff, like especially if you got like virtual assistants or even like live assistants. I told you this is your one business platform that's going to give you everything that you need. So if you have a staff, you program them in here and then you would assign them to this opportunity, which, again, comes in clutch as you're scaling your business out and you have actual teams that are working on different things. So I'm going to assign this to myself. Now, the opportunity score is crucial. This is you grading yourself before you submit the opportunity. And you can grade your, yourself by literally making sure you read all of the requirements and that you are following the instructions of how they tell you to submit things and to do exactly what they want you to do for this opportunity. So if it's asking you things for past performance and you know that you don't got it, you can't lie to yourself. You, you know, you can't give yourself a 100 percent score or 90 percent score when you don't have the past performance, which is being graded pretty high. Uh, now, more into my government training, you'll understand how to like really come out with a better score uh, as, as far as scoring yourself in government contracting. But again, you'll know how good you are. So let's say we're at a 60% right now, but we got time. Now, again, this live uh, contract that we looked right here is already um, past due. Okay. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If there's an incumbent, okay, you're going to go ahead and put that incumbent's business name right there. Now the incumbent is a contractor that has already got the opportunity. You want to put them right here. And we always say label things. So, you know, you can make your own label. These are just labels that I have for my business. But, you know, maybe you say new opportunity for this if it's a, a government contracting. But if you're using this platform for all of your business, which you should, 
you know, you could say government opportunity or private sector opportunity if you're going after private sector. Anyways, let's continue on. All right. So you also put your response date in here. And again, the opportunity will tell you the response date. So it tells you uh, the uh, issue date is Monday, the 24th of August, 22. The response deadline would have been Monday, September, 2022. So we're not going to use those exact dates, but we're going to go ahead and, you know, do like, I don't know, uh, August. Oops. I'm going all the way into 2025. We're going to put August. Matter of fact, what did it say? August 24th. So we're going to just use those dates. But this year uh, or no, it's a response due is September 7th. So we're going to put September 7th. And then the date that it was posted would have been. Um, August 24th, I believe it said. Yep. All right. Now that we got that right there, we got the solicitation. Now you're going to go ahead and take the uh, uh, opportunity description. And I like to go to the requirements. You know, you can do the general information, but you could take the requirements out right there. It'll give you a general description. You put that right here. Boom. You put in your NAICS code, whatever you use. What do we use? 488510, I believe. It'll be there. Now you put in what type of con uh, opportunity it was. Now, um, if you're doing state and local, I have them labeled like this. If we need to put more labels in here, too, we'll add them. Um, but you are also in control of creating your own labels. So don't think that you got to stick with the labels that we've done. Uh, but we've tried to help expedite this for you. So this was a RFP, if I read earlier, uh, request for, or yeah, I think it was a RFP. Guess I should, again, stop guessing and just go look. Um, and, you know, I could go back here to the software probably and look faster. Uh, but you should always get in the habit of reading the actual documents to see what it's asking for. Only reason I really don't want to look hard is because... Uh, it was already due. All right, I guess I will have to look through here. Uh, it's combined synopsis commercial prepared performance. Uh, all right, so this is a RFQ. Okay. So we're going to label RFQ right there and then click create. All right, so now we have the uh, person in here, right? Not only do we have the person in here, we also have the opportunities labeled for you. So when you come take a look at your pipeline in my screen, I'll try to get all this stuff on one screen. You'll now see your pipeline come here. Okay. Now I need to change my CRM to my GovCon CRM. Now, you guys see how I have all these CRMs, so don't think that you have to have one CRM. Um, so we've built out the GovCon CRM uh, because this is strictly for GovCon. But you get the t once you get um, the pure money, small business money flow, uh, you can build out as many CRMs as you want. Like, the sky's the limit. But this one's here. Anyways, you see we have two opportunities that we have in our pipeline now. So you guys are often hearing me talk about pipelines, pipelines. You have to develop pipelines when it comes to government contracting. If you want to have a million dollars, you need to make a $10 million pipeline because you're not going to get all of your opportunities. So now that we have these here and you have a team as well as yourself, you can stay organized. Not only that, you could drag these things as they develop along your stages. So we've put here a new opportunity. Uh, so you pull things from the marketplace, put them in here and you have to put everything here. Okay. Don't worry about making a decision. If you're going to bid after the opportunity or not right now, if you see something that you're interested in, go ahead and start putting it in the pipeline. We'll start to break through it and weed through all of your opportunities to find out exactly which ones we're going to go after. But we have to have a pipeline of opportunity so we can stay focused. This is the key. You have to stay focused. Now, you could even put a plan together that maybe once a week or something of that nature that you go look for new opportunities to add to your pipeline, but you can't every day just be jumping all around looking for opportunities because we have to 
communicate and network with individuals to get towards our money. So uh, as you guys can see, you can now come in here, click on the opportunity, find out about the person, blah, 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 blah. Update your scores. That's beauty. OK, that's cool. You can also schedule appointments. Maybe you need a meeting with that person or somebody, a subcontractor on this specific project. You're putting all of the information from your subcontractors, everything inside of this opportunity so you can stay organized. You can develop tasks. OK, so any task that you need to do again, maybe you need to write. I need to follow up with not. We can automate these tasks, too. I'm not going to get that deep into this today. Uh, but you can automate what happens when things are assigned to different individuals. Tasks, just emails to fly out, messages. Again, the sky's the limit. And of course, you could put notes behind that person that that way anybody on your team, when they click on the individual, they can stay updated as well as yourself. You can stay updated of what you said to that last person. Uh, the other beauty about this is when I start to ask you guys, you know, What's on your pipeline? How much is on your pipeline? Well, we can now look in your dashboard and I can see that your pipeline value is of one point eight million dollars right now. So when you tell me you want a million dollars, my argument back is your pipeline's not big enough. You don't have enough opportunities. So, again, that's where we pull out from our uh, dash um, from our marketplace here these opportunities and start to develop your pipeline. Uh, once again, if you guys are interested in this tool that we have here called uh, our pure money software, small business money flow. OK, all you have to do is go to uh, sbmoneyflow.com. Once again, that's sbmoneyflow.com. Get yourself registered. I will tell you guys the uh, second package is the package that you will need for all of this stuff to operate and work correctly. Uh, the first package will allow you to find government contracting opportunities, but it won't allow for uh, all of your automations to start moving when you really start diving into building your business. The second package will allow you to do that. But the third package is the one that you're really going to need. And if you do pay in full for that today, I will give you guys a special. You'll get access to my one year government contracting program if you pay in full and not the monthly plan. So and that is for the third. Uh, I think it's the premium plan. If you pay for that option in full today, I will also give you one year access of my GovCon program to go on top of this. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to it. So you have right here your pipeline of opportunities. You can stay up to date, see what's working, see what's not working. Um, you're going to have inside of this tool where you can build your funnels and websites and all of that as well. You know, it's so much that you could do here. Again, I'm just focusing on the CRM today. But as your CRM goes and your opportunities go, I can now take this thing. and You may not see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. I can move this opportunity to loss, abandon or one. So when you get that email coming from that government contracting agency to let you know that you won, you're going to slide this bad boy over here to one. When you see the other opportunity that you don't want to go after, maybe you slide it to abandon. OK, or you come in here and you move this to abandon right here. It's all the same thing. You change the stage of it, okay, as you're going through opportunities. Let's say you're saying, hey, I want to go after this mail brokerage service. This is the one that I want to do. You could slide it over to the new stage or you could put it right here into review. Go ahead and update it. And you'll see how it just slid over to the review section. This is what a pipeline should look like, okay? Every, you're, you're going to have... All of your opportunities over here in new. Eventually, you're going to start looking through them and say, OK, I like this opportunity. I don't like this other opportunity. Let me move this to something I'm not going to look at. You don't just delete it. You have to move things over into a section of won't respond. Again, very vital to building a pipeline because eventually what's going to happen is you're going to have all of these opportunities sitting over here on won't respond. 
And now what you'll start to understand is there's a pattern of opportunities that you don't like. So you'll know what not to look for versus the ones that you do like. So you'll start to focus on what to look for. This develops a system that can be replicated and handed off to somebody else. This is why we want to build this way. If you build any other way, you're going to end up creating a job for yourself. And that is not my goal for anybody to do. It's already going to be enough work that you're going to have to do just to keep the business up and running. But what I don't want you to do is create more work for yourself. And things like this is the importance of, you know, operating a multi uh, million dollar business. You can get away with some things uh, for a couple thousand dollar business. But if you truly want to operate a multi-million dollar business, a seven figure dollar business, a seven figure business or a high six figure business, uh, you're going to need a system in place. And this is the tool to the system. Should I say Uh, the actual system is in your processes and procedures. Okay. But it starts with a pipeline. Again, you're going to come back down here to our other side. Come over to your marketplace. Okay, well, let me go back. When you first get the tool, the uh, Pure Money Small Business Money Flow, you're going to log in. It's going to walk you through these steps, okay? You're going to set all of your business stuff up, your communication with your Facebook, your emails. You're going to have a chat widget, the whole nine. Because, again, we're going to build way more out than just this CRM. But the CRM alone is a seven figure business operation right there. We don't need to worry about anything else. If you want to focus on government contracting. Okay. Once you get all of this set up, you'll see a screen like this. The first thing that you do is you come in here, you go through the pure money, AI marketing help, follow the steps one through nine to set your business up on this platform. Okay. Once you follow the steps one through nine, you are good to go. This button, this AI help is going to come in very vital later on. Just we don't need it for right now. Once you get set up, we're going to come straight here to the government marketplace that we got right here. Now, there'll be a a tab up here that you can create your account in the right hand corner. Go ahead and create your account there. Now, on a wider screen, this looks a whole lot better. Um, You'll see. Let me see if I can slide this here. I just slid it over a little bit. Uh, But on a wider screen, you can see that we could actually see these search by NAICS codes. And you could put all of your NAICS codes in here. Five, four, one. Matter of fact, does anybody else have a NAICS code? Let me see if we had another NAICS code that was dropped in the comments. Um, All right. I see one right here. Five, four, one, four, three, zero. Okay, five, four, one, four, three, zero graphic design services. We're going to go ahead and search that. Do 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 do. All right. That just came in there. Okay, we are going to take out award. We're going to take out archived. All right, let's see. We're going to take a, well, we'll be good to go right here. All right, so this one is due in two days, ballot printing. Now, again, this will be vital that you guys read through this stuff because some of them are going to be state contracts. If you really want to start to filter, again, you can come down here to customer agencies or customer types. And you could just put federal in if you only want to go federal, state, city, local, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go ahead and put federal in right there. So we got some marketing services for the team, whatever, recruiting and mixed martial art events. You got a multimedia opportunity available, planning designs, hungry pests, uh, professional assignment photography services. Oh, all my photographers out there. Um, again, you see how some of these opportunities be hidden through different NAICS codes that you may not have thought would be there for that one. I don't know if photography is under the same NAICS code, but anyways, let's take a look at the photography one. All right. Um, and it was posted two months ago. Notice 
do in 2028. That's way too far. That's one thing I don't like doing is looking at opportunities that are just, you know, crazy. You got to put a little pressure on yourself uh, to force you to go do some work. If not, you ain't going to go do no work. All right. So we got right here. Um, we're seeing who we got. Again, you're going to come through here. You're going to click on opportunity. And let me show you guys what it looks like on a wider screen. You'll see that the opportunity tab is right there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click on opportunity that's going to pop up and we're going to start filling this bad boy out with the information that we have available. So we got another contact, depending on how you label your stuff, make sure you get it right. OK, so don't do first name, last name. And they did it. Last name, first name. Put it in your system how you want it to be. So I don't do uh, last name, first name. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to type it in. Oops, I probably made two for my bad. Uh, she is H E I L A. We're going to do Sheila Springs. OK. Now, I didn't show you guys the best part about this. That I don't want you guys to think I showed you the best part. I'm just showing you the steps. But we about to get real saucy in a second. Um, and this is going to be the last one. And I'm going to show you how this bad boy really takes your game to the next level. Okay. So this opportunity name right here, it was planning, design, exhibits, fabrications, and whatnot. So we're going to copy this here. Also, please don't copy. I'm, I'm just doing this for... Um, demo purposes, but please do not ever copy information off of websites like this. Uh, we want to look at the actual documentation, which is right here. Uh, what's in black and white ink is way more solid than what's on a website. Okay. Anything can happen with technology and display the wrong information. So we want to make sure that we're always with the right information and that's what's in the documentation. OK, so anyways, we pull that. This is a new opportunity. Um, I'm the owner of the opportunity. I'm going to say that my score is an 80 right now for this because this is good. This is what we do. Uh, the business name, I will have to do some research and see if there's already an incumbent on this. And this is for how I labeled it out. You may want to make this business name like the agency name. I don't know. The sky is the limit. You can do whatever you please. It is your CRM for you to get a better understanding of it. Um, let me see if I could find a solicitation number. Well, I'll need this next code. That's for sure. Um, so we're going to go here. Put this next code in while I'm there. All right, uh, we have a, the offer is due on August 8th. It was posted on July 6th. So we got the date posted as July 6th. Um, it's due on, what did I say? August 8th. The other key about this, when you start labeling out your contacts, you'll also see a pattern in them. You'll see that this agency releases opportunities and give you like a 14 day window, 10 day window. It, again, all of this stuff becomes data to help you become more of a surgical contractor. And you don't want to just be playing around, um, just submitting stuff all the time and not knowing what you're doing. Uh, this is, this is how people, you know, end up failing. You can't create a rhythm. There's nothing that can be duplicated. Okay. Again, you label your tag, however you want to label your tag. Uh, you put the business name in there of a previous, a person, contractor, whatnot. So now I have to open up the opportunity here. Um, oh, these are some pictures. I didn't mean to do that, which will be key, I'm sure. They got 21 things right here, so I'm pretty sure. Uh, product notes. Oh, no, no, no. Dang, it's a lot of, a lot of things here. There we go. All right, so this RFP, okay, this is the actual solicitation number. I think I may have pulled the wrong solicitation number off. No, nope, it was the right one. Okay, so this is a RFP, so we're going to have to uh, write a proposal for this bad boy. We got the next code. Now we just need the um, you know, scope of work. Um, again, I don't... I just don't feel like reading through everything right now. 
I don't like reading as much as y'all don't like reading, but I'm just for demo purposes going to copy that, put it right here. We're going to click create. Okay. So now we have this next opportunity in here for plan and design. Again, I can come back here, look at my dashboard and see that I have three opportunities in the hopper for a total of 1.8 million. Cause we already said that we were, uh, that we closed one of them. Remember we abandoned one of the opportunities or you know what? I also forgot to put the price tag on this opportunity too. Um, so let's put a value here of, uh, we'll say those mail services may be about 900,000. Okay. So we're going to update this. And now we have a pipeline. If we look at it of $2.7 million with three opportunities. We've said that we weren't going to get one of them. Okay. We're, we're just going to leave that alone. All right. And as you can see, 300,000 out of that is closed. So we really only have a pipeline now of 2.4. Okay. So we need to put more into the pipeline to get it up to 10 million because we want a million. And now we can start to see our conversion rates as things go on to know if our actions that we're taking work or not. OK, so we're going back here to the opportunity. We're on plan and design, blah, blah, blah. Remember, Sheila is our point of contact. This is the agency that we're working with. Now, let me show you guys the sauce. As you start responding to the client using the system, as you start setting up these automations and communicating with the customers, whether it's the subcontractor that's going to be through here, which is going to have their own contact profile. So now you can stay up to date with your subcontractor that performs good with cleaning services and they're growing and you're growing with them. The more that they can handle, you can see what they can handle because it's all in your system. And we're going to come here to the conversations tab or let me start with contacts. I need to, I need to widen this out. Sorry. So now that I got a contact, remember Sheila is my contact. I can click here on Sheila and I can start communicating with her. And you know what? I better, I better erase Sheila's email out of here for real. Uh, <laughs> before my system accidentally sends her email for some automation I ain't set up. Let me make sure I erase her real number. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. All right. Um, Cause my system is live. Yeah. You know? So now that I have Sheila here, I have her contact. Let me slide this over for you. No matter whether it's me or anybody on my team, anytime we send an email or a text message, maybe you got that type of level. I can see the whole entire conversation. I can stay up to date where the last place is that we left off with Sheila. So now everything is flowing. When I need to follow up with Sheila, I know the last thing that I said so we can pick up right there. No more like, uh, what did I do? What did I? No, nah, none of that. It's gone. Every single message of communication will be with every single one of your contacts. Again, whether it's the uh, subcontractor that you're working with. Okay, so... I set this other one up right here. Again, you can start communicating with them. You can put tags on them. You can add automations to them. Workflows to schedule emails to automatically go out to the people that you want them to. I mean, the sky's the limit. Again, you can also come over here if I slide this over a little bit more so you don't have to go all the way back through the opportunities tab and just update your notes right here. Add notes, add different tasks. You can set up appointments all right here. Your calendar is all going to be right here. In this calendars tab, there's a tab right here, calendars. So again, as you're talking to people, you can schedule these calendar appointments out so you can get rid of Calendly and all of the other calendar appointment bookings that you have is all right here. As you bring your team on, Everybody's going to stay up to date on the same pages. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you with your CRM is about the task. Again, you could come here to automations. 
And we set a lot of automations up, but I don't want to get into all of it. I've made videos about that. I'm now going to come here, create on workflow. And then I'm going to start a new one from scratch. Now watch this. See if I can shorten my screen up here. So you guys can see. Now I'm going to say new trigger. And what do we do? Okay. We created a task or we want a task to be created. Well, we had a new task that was added. Well, who did it get to? Well, anytime a task is to assign user by the name of Travis, I want this trigger to happen. Well, what do you want to happen? Because the Pandora's box is open now. You say, okay, a trigger is set off that anytime something is assigned to Travis, this should happen next. This is where I say your systems, your processes and procedures should start to flow. You should literally have a um, chart. Uh, I've made a video on this too about building a workflow out. It's kind of like a diagram, like circles with lines drawn, if then statements, because that's all we're about to build right here. And we're going to say a task assigned. The first thing that we're going to do if, all right, well, you know, if, if that task got assigned to Travis, okay, what do you want it to do? I don't know. Anything that you want, it's all yours. You get to the, the sky's the limit. Or maybe you say, you know, if that task gets assigned to Travis, which that already happened once they schedule it, maybe you want to open up your Slack channel, okay, and send a message to Slack to somebody else to let them know like you're ready to go. Or maybe you don't even need Slack. Maybe you're cool with sending a text message out. And I just want to let you know every time you send a text message out. Um, it does cost some money. Okay. It's not free to send text messages or emails, uh, but it's pennies on a dollar. That's all I want to say. All right. But you could do that. Um, you could send a text message. You can make a phone phone call. You could send an Instagram message, a Facebook message. Again, the sky is the limit. What, what you want to do once you start building out your CRM, it's all yours. But the key again is to start building out that pipeline immediately. And now when I ask you, what is the value of your pipeline? Y'all can stop guessing. Yeah. And if you ain't got nothing on your pipeline, then I know you ain't working. Because this government marketplace shows you every single opportunity, federal, state, local, city, county, whatnot. You're going to get access to this. You're going to get access to the CRM that I just showed you to build your pipeline and then so much more. I'm trying to tell you from building your websites, funnels, automating emails, text messages, follow-ups, creating memberships for you to put your courses on, or maybe you have something else that you need a membership in. It's all going to be done right here. Your calendar, you can get rid of that bill, everything, one location, one bill. Okay, so go ahead, go to sbmoneyflow.com, get yourself registered, get signed up, and start loading up your pipeline full of opportunities here. Now, I do want to open it up for questions. If anybody does have any questions about anything that I did go over, feel free to ask them. If you did get any value out of this, go ahead and drop a fire emoji down there in the chat. In the meantime, let me see who else did I have in the building. Uh, da, 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 da. Where do we leave off at? Tony Jones. I see you in the building. Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, Terry Lucas. You using Tony Jones account? <laughs> or maybe you got multiple names. I think Terry and Tony go together. All right. Uh, who else we got? Stanley. What's happening from Baltimore, Maryland? I appreciate you for being here. Carla. DFW, what's happening with you, Carla? Uh, da, 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 da. CKMT Phoenix, Arizona is in here. Y'all see, we worldwide out here. Well, not worldwide, America wide. Although I do got some people in other countries. So I guess we are a little worldwide. Um, yo, your post on threads was on point. 
all them hundred million dollar contractors, man. Hey, but look, now you guys can actually see what a hundred million dollars worth of contracts look like. I'm just being straight up. You can see what a hundred million dollars worth of contracts look like because you can create a hundred million dollar pipeline. And now you can see what a workflow, what a operations is going to look like of a hundred million dollars worth of opportunities. And you can build it all right here on this platform. That is the beauty of it. You're not going to need multiple platforms all right here. Okay. Um, Larry, we already said what's happening. Uh, I mean, what's happening. Oh, Sydney. See, I told you we got, we are worldwide. We are. I, do, I got Canada. I think I've had a couple of people from Sydney had Australia be listening to me. They actually be doing government contracting in their countries too. That's the beauty. Government contracting is really everywhere. Different systems, but usually they kind of got some of the same processes and procedures. Um, Denise, what's happening with you? I appreciate you for being here, hanging out with a brother. You know what? I haven't used none of my soundboard features in a very long time. I don't know. I've been, I've been tripping. I ain't been cursing people out lately. You know what I'm saying? I've been working. <laughs> Jennifer, what's going on? Look, we're going to look at yours, your next code right here real quick. We're going to see what they got out here in the government contracting land for real estate in the building. Let's go back here to the homepage. We're going to search by next codes. We're going to come here to 531-210, 531-210. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hit search right here. Drum roll. Come on down. Come on down. All right. We're going to do due date. Come on. Come on. It's the first of the month. Man, I tell you. Tech be teching sometimes. All right. Next 45 days, we're going to hit apply. What is out there in the world? We got eight opportunities that are out there. Uh, Jefferson Pair Sheriff's Office Warehouse Tornado Repairs, um, Preventative Early Interventions, Phoenix Global Fundamentals, Children, Adolescents, Family, and the HIV. Uh, also, again, this is why we have to read through stuff. I told you. Everything ain't always labeled right, okay? We not always going to say everything could pull everything perfectly. So you do want to make sure you are reading through things before you just take the word on it. You can play around with words too. I usually tell you guys not to play around with words, but you can play around with words here if you don't know your stuff. Also, the other beauty of what I always tell you to do if you guys get my training and understand how I tell you guys to cheat your way through it, uh, you should be able to look in your backyard. You know, I like to start from your backyard. So you should look in your backyard for opportunities and see what's out there and start building your pipeline. Your pipeline should have uh, multiple opportunities as far as, you know, some 8A opportunities and you're not an 8A that's going to force you that you need to network with companies that are 8As, which is going to build up your uh uh, contact list, which is going to be very clutch when we're staying organized over here. Okay. Cause we're going to need people in this process and our route to being millionaires. You don't do it. So low, do low. And the first million don't make you a millionaire. This is why I'm telling you, if you want a million dollars, we need to put $10 million on this pipeline minimum. I really go 25, 30 million. Okay. Now, as we start to develop all of this again, we're going to put all this information into our pipeline, build out our opportunities. And now we know every day what we got to do, because I can come here and look at my opportunities. And honestly, if everything's still sitting in a new stage, like you ain't doing no work. If everything's still sitting in review stage and you ain't moving things along to in progress, which means that you're starting the process of writing towards this opportunity uh, getting all of the subcontractors together that's needed for this opportunity, making sure that you have your invoicing platform, that you got access to money in case you win this opportunity. And when I say access, like you don't need the money, but you need to know where to go get it. That if you win this opportunity, you can make things start to move. You need to make sure all of your insurances and stuff is in place. This is why in progress is here. Once you hit submit it, 
this is what I want to see. I want to see a whole pipeline of submitted opportunities. And I can look at the top and see that you have submitted over five million dollars worth of opportunities. Well, I know you're ready to play ball, but most of you guys are still right here. So we've developed this tool at Pure Money, the small business money flow. So there's no more mistakes. There's no more BS. You come right here, you start developing. And once again, as you build for these government contracting opportunities, you're going to have the platform to really build a business that doesn't just get government contracts, but actually does business and generates revenue from all avenues because you have the tool in your hand, the small business money flow. You will not need anything else for any ideas that pop in your mind when it comes to a tool that's going to be needed. So go to sbmoneyflow.com. Once again, get yourself registered. Let's take a look at it, what it's going to look like here. Once you do go there, uh, sbmoneyflow.com, sb, oops, flow.com. Once you get registered, you're going to have two options, standard, professional, and premium. Once again, you can uh, build out your uh, look for your government contracting opportunities, but you won't really be able to utilize that CRM feature to its capacity at the 119 a month method. You will be able to load things in there, but a lot of the automations, features, and all this stuff, it won't work for you. The professional package that's going to allow you to start to automate stuff, send emails out and all that, this will work on the professional package. The premium package, it'll have all the bells and whistles. You're not going to ever need anything else. This one tool will be for you. Uh, we also have a lot of other features that we're going to actually help set up with you to make sure that is operating when you get this premium package for you. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. We'll get you rolling here in there. Also, when you switch to pay annually instead of monthly and you get the premium package for thirty five hundred, I will be throwing in this my one year GovCon program. Um, you'll have access to my back office to really understand government contracting, which is going to help you build out this pipeline 10 times better. It's going to help you use this tool 10 times better. You're not going to have to pay for this. I believe this is like $2,800 or somewhere along that nature. I'm going to throw this in with you. Not only that, okay, when you guys do get registered for the tool today, when I can find it, wherever I put it at, when you do get registered for the tool today, if you get the premium registration, you're going to get an opportunity for 33% commissions. So if you found value in this tool, you should tell somebody else about it. And when they get registered utilizing your link or your name, you're going to get 33% commission. So if they pay in full, you get 33% of that. If they pay every month, you're going to get paid 33% commissions every month that they pay. And they should pay because they should have a multi-million dollar pipeline that they put together. So everybody's going to stay active and we're going to circulate money in the economy with our community. This is the reason that we've built this platform, not just to help you win contracts and to build your business, but we also want you guys to refer to message and put money in your pocket. When you get that second package, you're going to get 18% commission. Unfortunately, the first package, we do not have a commission plan together for that. But whatever package somebody signs up, uh, your commission will uh, kick in. No matter if they sign up for the first package or the third package, when you're at 18%, you're still going to get 18% no matter what. All right. So hopefully we got that straight. Once again, go to sbmoneyflow.com. Get yourself signed up today and let's start building out those pipelines. And let me see if I can answer any questions that I've seen here. Um, would this also help with affiliate programs as well as your courses? Yes, absolutely. Uh, again, I'm just talking about the CRM today. But by all means, this bad boy will help you resell all of my other affiliate opportunities here, as well as build your own. You could build your own affiliate program inside of this. I just didn't go into great detail. 
every week I'm going to be in the Facebook group dropping more videos uh, about how to use other functions of the pure money, small business money flow. So don't worry about it. Just understand that the tool will give you everything that you need at this moment, but you don't need everything. That's the key. That's why I'm not talking about everything. We're focusing on building out your pipeline with this tool right now, and we'll develop the other stuff later. All right. Uh, hello, Dr. Davis. Do we have access to the one year course platform yet? If not, you have an estimate time availability. Yes. If you've bought the platform, um, the one year GovCon platform, everything is available. Uh, all you have to do is go to onlinegovcon.com. Also, please check your spam email accounts. Um, the emails have been going into the spam uh, we need you guys to go into spam and tell them we're not spam. Uh, so the email people, the email gods to stop sending us over there. Uh, but until then, they're going to be like in spam or promotions accounts, especially if you got a Gmail. Um, so take a look in there. But uh, onlinegovcon.com will access everything. If you put it in and it's coming up to a white screen, you need to refresh your cookies and your cash. Uh, and then you could go ahead and come here to onlinegovcon.com. And I'm actually glad that you just brought that up because we're also adding in another feature with our GovCon community online, uh, govcon.com. So we have two links actually for all um, www.onlinegovcon.com. For all pure money things that you may have purchased, uh, that will be at um, howtogetrichuniversity.com. That is the Pure Money Legacy. Okay. Over on that side for all other things, business aspects outside of government contracting. Pure Money Legacies information can be found at How to Get Rich University. But for all government contracting purchases that you have, whether it's the AI software or um, our programs, the seven day challenge or the one year, you're going to go to onlinegovcon.com. You're going to go ahead and log in. The new feature that we are developing right here is the discussions tab. Eventually, we're going to get rid of the Facebook group. It's just too many uh, forms of communicating. that can't keep up with all of them. Um, so we're actually going to start discussing things right here in our own community. You can actually make posts here. You could put links, pictures, the whole nine, just like you was on Twitter, but we can do videos and everything. Matter of fact, kind of like threads, should I say, uh, but we're going to build our community right here on this platform so everybody can stay up to date. But when you're here, you can see the discussions tab. You can see all of the courses that you have access to. I don't have access to any of my own courses. Uh, you come right here and let me see. All right. My bad. Uh, if you click this tab up here in the right, you can click on courses and you can see all of the different courses that you have purchased and have access to, whether it's the softwares or the courses. And if you want to resell any of our programs, you can click right here, go to affiliates. And depending on what you've purchased and what you have access to, you should be able to grab your affiliate link and start um, giving that to other people and start generating some revenue with us. Again, that's the goal, man. We don't want to just create the product like of course, we want to make sure we can create the products that you guys can excel with as far as generating revenue and other avenues of government contracting, selling stuff on the Internet. But we don't want you to share with the world about what we've created and y'all don't make money with us. So don't ever just buy none of my stuff and tell somebody about it and don't grab this affiliate link and make some money with me. It's no fun with me just making money alone. I want you to grab the link. Tell other people about the courses, the softwares that you're using as you're using it. Don't wait till you get good at it. Make videos and tell people about what you're doing, why you're doing it and how you're doing it and drop the link. And here's all your links. You're just going to log in, grab your link and start using it. Post it to your Instagram profile, to your threads, whatever. And let's start generating some of this revenue together. Because again, it ain't no fun if we all can't get some. And this is the opportunity of it right here. So log in. Courses, communities is still in beta mode, uh, but your affiliates and all of your programs that you've purchased will be at onlinegovcon.com. All right. Hopefully we answered that question there for you. Uh, Jax is here from Florida. What's happening with you, Jax? I see the fire emojis in the chat. I appreciate you. Tony's in the building. What's going on, Tony, with the eye? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this is some good stuff. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hopefully we get you guys over into the small business money flow so we can make it even greater. Okay. Another beauty about this guys is we um, build up the community and you guys get involved in this and, you know, hopefully we will get a couple billion dollars in the pipeline amongst everybody. I can use this data and go to the government. I'm just letting y'all know my bigger picture, my bigger plan. Uh, when I have a large community that's gathered and doing magical things together and have that type of stuff operating, um, I can go in there and say, hey, I have access to the minority community. Uh, you guys should give us more support. It's all right here instead of um, paying these other organizations that they've been paying that, you know, I ain't going to get into all of that. But just know. We always look at bigger things. Courtney, what's happening, my brother? Courtney is killing it with the GovCon um, AI software that we've created there, too. So uh, definitely keep crushing it, my brother. We always appreciate your support over here. Uh, DC's in the building. What's going on? Jeff, what's happening? What's happening? CRM. CRM is Customer Relationship Management. Okay, so again, the beauty here. As you start to communicate with your customer, we're going to look at Jesse Bridges right here. OK, as I start to communicate with Jesse Bridges, I need to move that. <laughs> take that email. Uh, take that email off for I accidentally send a message. But as we communicate with Jesse Bridges here. Uh, let me take off that dot mail. At. Gmail. But, all right. As we communicate with him, I can now see everything that's happening with my customer, customer relationship management. It's all about making sure, you know, that you're not scrambling, looking for information, trying to figure out like, what was the last time we talked a month ago? Like, you can see all of this stuff. Uh, I will show you guys some, but I don't want to switch to my other. Let me see if I can. Let me pre-look at some conversations so I can see, show you guys what it looks like. It's hard to really show you without. Or matter of fact, what I can do is come here. Let me go to my business profile. Um, so this is what I'll do. I'll take my number. I'm going to come back to here. And I'm going to go to him, Jesse, put my number in there. This location does not allow duplicate contacts. Of course you, oh, that's because I'm already in here. All right, so let me just go to my name. Ha, <laughs> stupid. All right, so let's say that I was a government contractor or whatnot, and you, know, you could automate this stuff that once somebody gets put on your pipeline, uh, I don't know, maybe you want to email or go out to him. Well, I wouldn't do that for government people. But you get the gist of it. If you put your subcontractors here, you'll know, you know, the conversation that you had with your subcontractors. But maybe I want to send an email out. So as you can see, the email already popped up. Sub needed. Maybe that's something that you do. And then I say, I need your help. All right. You would already have this stuff programmed as far as your signatures and all of your business profile out. Uh, because we set all of that up in the beginning when you first logged in, we're going to go ahead, hit that send button. As you can see now, I know that I sent this person an email on July 16th at 8:42 PM. I can click right here and actually see what all was in the email. If I wanted to, I can also click here and reply and blah, blah, blah. But maybe I wanted to send them a text message because we cool like that. And I'm like, yo, Travis, yo, Travis. help. All right. So that text message is going to go to me. I'm going to get this message, um, and text that just came and said, yo, Travis, I need your help. And I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to respond to that text message right there. And as you can see, it said, Hell nah, do it yourself and pay Bitcoin. So now my CRM, my customer relationship management, 
I have all of the communication platforms of how my client, whether it's a subcontractor, government personnel, private sector contract opportunity, maybe an opportunity that I've seen on the street somewhere. It don't matter. I have it all. The conversation is all in one platform and I know what's going on. If you have a team, which this really is a tool for you to develop help to build people on your staff that's going to do tasks for you. Now, again, you can look at the client and see all of the communication that's happening so nobody can technically lie to you. Now, as you go to build your pages out in your platforms, whether you're selling courses and different things of that nature, which, again, we didn't touch on and go over, but the tool can do small business money flow can make that happen. You can now monitor the pages that everybody's visited. If they've watched your videos, if you're selling an e-course or something of that nature, you can set automations up to say, hey, after they visit a page, send them this text message, send them this email, move. I mean, the sky's the limit. But this is your CRM, customer relationship management. OK, I hope that answered your question with that. Is this just for government contracts or can it be used for other types of clients? Have a CRM similar to this, but don't think I want to pay for both. Yes, you can use this for everything. I advise you to get rid of everything else that you got because you don't need anything else. You can run multiple things out of this. I'm just showing you for government contracting purposes, but this will be your entire business. Whether you're selling online products, offline products, online services, if you got a restaurant, you can use this. If you got a food truck, you can use it. everything. This is all you need. And let's take a look. So, again, you said, can you use the CRM for other opportunities? Well, look, I have other opportunities. OK, I don't just sell things to government contracting. That was just my GovCon CRM that I created right here. You're going to be able to click right here on pipelines and you can create your own pipeline that you want. Call it, name it, do whatever you need to do. So you'll no longer need multiple, just one. Now, what I would advise you, though, is don't make it look nasty. You know, make sure you're labeling things out because it can get real nasty. <laughs> uh, but hopefully that answered your question. Submitting my first RFQ this week. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. You're going to make it happen. You are definitely going to make it happen. Uh, do, do, do. Paulette Sims from Tampa. Getting that good weather out there. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Well, no, nah, I guess it's kind of hot in Florida right now. But the good weather is coming. You got water, though. <laughs> Uh, let's see any other questions. Instant markets is the standard plan too. Yes. Yes. All of that will be in all of the plans. You'll get access to the government marketplace in every plan. Don't matter which one that you get. It's just the CRM portion of it, uh, that will be limited based on the plan that you get. All right. Do do do. I have a blank check. What's the most expensive program, three fifty a month or thirty five hundred for the year. Which again, we advise you to do the uh, thirty five hundred for the year because that means you're also going to get access to our one year government contracting program uh, that we do meet every month, uh, the last Monday of every month, and you're going to get um, my whole government contracting. Matter of fact, I'm over here just talking about it. I guess I could just show you guys as soon as I find out where I put it. I can just log in again. Mm -hmm. All right. So you'll get access to uh, the GovCon University right here. And um, this really has everything that you need in it. Again, you add this with the small business money flow. Uh, you can do some damage. So we have a bunch of other classes here, which I really like the um, master classes right here. So I get a little bit deeper uh, when it comes to how to set up SAM profile, how to convince your prime to put you on their team. So a lot of this stuff, as I'm teaching you these things, you can actually go back into the tool and automate some of these processes out that I'm telling you about, especially when we're talking about writing proposals and things of that nature. You're going to know exactly how this CRM can be utilized a whole, whole lot better with the more training that you have going on about government contracting. Guys, government contracting is so broad and it's so much information 
uh, because there's so many directions that you can go after this uh, that it's hard for me to tell you guys everything in an hour or two hours. I mean, honestly, and I don't even know everything all the time. I'm still constantly learning um, stuff about government contracting because it is an environment to change us. Uh, I have a consultant group of three. How many people can be logged in at one time? As many as you need. You know, uh, so let me go back here. That's the beauty about it. Uh, I want you to have that consultant group. So what you're going to end up doing here is you can actually create calendars for everybody on your team. So, again, as you're scheduling people out uh, and automating tasks and stuff, you can actually like create calendars and meetings and all that stuff. I mean, you know, the sky's the limit. but you're going to come here. Well, let me go back here. Uh, actually, if you come here to your AI marketing tool, yes, I can show you the steps to do this, uh, but we've built an AI. So you'll essentially be setting up calendars. Okay. And you'll do add a staff. This AI tool is going to walk you through how to set up a staff for your company on this profile. All you're going to do is follow the steps. Me and my partner, um, partnered through this to build it out. We've got screenshots and videos that's going to walk you through step by step of how to use this platform. You do not have to guess about how to utilize the platform. So as you can see, it's telling you you're going to get a video coming to you in about 10 seconds that will break down exactly. All right. The so steps to go about instead of a there. snapshot, we're going to show right. you. A so you follow those. You'll be able to add all of your staff in. So you could do those assignments. Now, the last tab here is the AI help. Once you get yourself set up and maybe you want to build something out, maybe you want to automate something, you could do like, hey, um, teach or what steps do I take to automate AUTO, automate my Instagram DM any time someone asks for the word help. All right. So now you can go live and tell people like, Hey, DM me the word help in my Instagram. And then you can set up the automation triggers, uh, for when people use the word help, like you can DM me on Instagram, the word help or get started. And we've set up the automation. So this is telling you exactly what you're going to need to do in order to make this happen. Okay. So, that's pretty simple, pretty easy. Walk through the tools. It'll help you out. Also, you're going to be in my Facebook group. So if for some reason you're still stuck, uh, you know, just ask me in a Facebook group and I'll probably go over it that week to help you out there. Um, Roderick, what's happening with you, Roderick? Looking forward to the conversation. If that's the same Roderick um, meeting with you tomorrow. You welcome my capa brother. You are more than welcome. Uh, I see what you're doing here. You're trying to take me. <laughs> I never do anything like that, brother. <laughs> I just signed up to the program. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate you for signing up to the program. Let's build out that pipeline, man. I'm trying to see these million dollar pipelines. Minimum, minimum, you should be at a million dollars like by the end of this week. Uh, but you need to get to 10. Million is the first stop. 10 is the next one. And then you focus. Only the 350 plan comes with the year training. The full price 350 plan, not the monthly payment. If you pay for the 350 plan in full, the annual plan, uh, it will come with the one year GovCon course. So if you pay for the annual plan every year, you're going to get coached by me every single month for the rest of your life. Uh, cause we ain't letting this, uh, software go anywhere. So, uh, pure money, small business flow will be here forever. Um, but yes, you will get access to that paying for the entire thing. What is the best free CRM software? You can make one with, um, uh, air table. Um, most of you guys know, uh, I did utilize air table. Uh, I actually taught that in my workshop. Um, when we had the last one here in DC, but as we develop, you know, um, some some things just don't sacrifice. But yes, Airtable for free. You can definitely um, make it happen over there. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to start playing and, and running some coins, 
you're going to need to pay for some softwares here. And this will make it happen for you. All right. See if there's any other questions. I forgot to check Instagram. My apologies. EIG just may be tapping in with Pure Money Fam and get educated. Well, come on, tap in with us once again. This is just what I showed you of a CRM. We have more videos on YouTube that talks about marketing because this tool ain't just for your CRM. It is to develop all of your marketing, your automations for following up with emails, uh, your automations for following up with text messages. When people don't do something, they you want this to happen next, especially if you're selling products, courses, um, services for coaching programs, plumbing services, food, restaurants. I mean, anything has to have marketing behind it. You're going to have the tool for that. Your website builder, you can get rid of that. Let's talk about all the stuff that you can get rid of. You can get rid of your calendar software. OK, you can get rid of any other CRM software that you're utilizing. You can get rid of any website builder that you're utilizing. You can get rid of any email um, provider that you're utilizing. You can get rid of any SMS text message services that you're using. That stuff is gone. I mean, that alone saves you tons of money. If you have Zoom and Google for your email provider, and even if you don't have Google, you can associate all of that stuff in here. And the other beauty is you guys don't understand analytics and things of that nature. Well, this isn't just to help you build your business on that side, but we need to make sure that uh, to the world that your image is clean. So you're also going to make it easy for people to give you reviews. So your Google analytics shoot up your Facebook analytics shoot up because we've made the process of people leaving you a review extremely, extremely easy. OK. And this is how easy this stuff is going to be. And lastly, it ain't just about you. You're going to get to, you're going to be able to set up way more than just yourself. You can actually you know, build a business out of this and run other people's businesses under your platform. It ain't just got to be for yours. But once again, if you don't want to build the businesses out for anybody, don't just refer them to the software and get your commissions. 33% commissions, partner commissions. That's why we did 33%. When you get the highest package of anything with us, you're considered a partner of ours. So you're going to get 33% commissions just like a partner and you ain't got to do no work. We going to do the work. Your work was telling somebody about it. So we're going to reward you for that. And eventually we're going to have some awards for the people who sell the most because that's what you're doing. You're selling. We're introducing you to sales and we're giving you something real good to sell. All right. Um, Paulette, when we're getting set up in the beginning for the 199, will there be able to do weekly calls to help consulting group get everything set up? Because there's a lot. Now, we don't do the weekly calls one on one, but uh, as far as the Facebook group, you know, if you're there when we go live and you got questions, um, we'll answer them right there. Uh, but to sit down with somebody and like build the actual business out. No, we won't uh, have more calls for that. But what you can do is utilize this AI tool right here and go to AI help and it will help you build that business out. So even if you need to build a website, so uh, I need a landing page for my makeup line called Fendi. Um, no, give me the copy for an urban community of females. You, know, you can come here and, you know, let, let AI get busy, uh, because this has been programmed to help you with the pure money tool as far as building everything that you're going to need with your business. So all of the automations, the email follow up, all of your marketing, okay? You know, this will do it for you. The emails that you need to send out through automation, the text messages, uh, you can come right here in the tool and ask it. So you're going to have access to this AI tool. You're also going to have access to GovCon markets. So, you know, ask ask that, you know. 
and it'll probably take you extremely far. That way, when you get to our weekly calls on the Facebook group, I mean, <laughs> you probably have everything already up and running. Uh, will you have to purchase a domain to use the websites or funnels? Uh, you don't have to, but you know, for best marketing purposes, by all means, you don't want the tool to have a domain name that, you know, doesn't fit what you got going on. But again, you don't need to worry about how do I set up a domain on the tool? You're going to come right here. You're going to follow the steps one through nine and you're Step eight teaches you how to connect your domains. So you ain't got to worry about how do I set up a domain. Cool. Uh, so you walk through all of these processes. Uh, when you get to one ninety nine um, setup fee for that last package, we have built out a lot of stuff for you. I'm just not going over it in this video. We've made other videos. So that's what you're getting uh, as far as that setup you're going to come here and we've built out a lot of calendars. So if you got a staff, you're actually just going to come here and plug in your s staff's uh, information for user one, two, and three and connect this calendar. It's already going to be up and done. As far as automations, we already going to have a bunch of workflows already laid out for you. So you ain't got to worry about how do I create an automation uh, when somebody gets referred or a text message or all that. We, we have a lot of this stuff done when it comes to building your websites and your landing pages or whatnot, even when it comes to somebody scheduling um, a call with you. Again, we, we have all of this stuff updated right here. You can also put all of your opportunities. So if you're out in the streets and you don't have uh, access to your tool of small business money flow, like you can't get to it right now to plug in the lead. Well, we have a form right here that, you know, you could come here add some fields if you want, or you could just fill the field out right here, change some of these titles. And you could just remember if you have your domain. So whatever your domain is dot com forward slash legion is something that you would call it. So, you know, you're on your phone, you could go to your domain dot com forward slash legion because you built this out. And as you're talking to people at meetings, you can take their business card and stuff, fill out their information, and it's going to come right over here into your opportunities tab because you filled it all out right here. We're going to have that stuff built out for you already when you get that top package. It's just a bunch of stuff that I did not go over that will be included in that top package. That's why I said you won't need anything ever with that top package that you get right there especially when it comes to building out your business. And if it's a website that you need to build, you can develop your own website. This is just all drag and drop. You'll see exactly how easy it is to utilize this, to build yourself a website. As you can see, I'm actually running my corporate business through this website builder. So if you was to go to malmar.com, this is malmar.com. I'm running all of my businesses through this. GovCon, Cheat Codes, Malmar, the whole nine, all goes through this one platform. But we're going to have websites for you already built out. So uh, a digital business card, if you guys are paying for those links that sit inside of people's Instagram profile, maybe a link tree, don't do that no more. We've already got link trees built out for you. All you got to do is come right here add your links in and you'll be ready to go. You can change the design, the color, however you need it to fit, but we got you up and running uh, for policy return websites or whatnot. Got that already developed for you. Business coaching. It's already developed. If you want to build your own website, you just do new website, do from template. You choose your own thing right here is the holidays. You got financial services. I mean, I don't care whatever you want to do. We got something already in place. You click it, select it. You could take a view of what it will look like before you select it. And then you're just going to come back here, change the pictures, change the words up using artificial intelligence, have chat GPT next to you, or you could have the AI tool open next to you that we had developed and you could get busy. And by the end of tonight at nine o'clock before 12 o'clock hits, you can have your business up and running. You know what I'm saying? That's just how easy the tool is. But it is on you to still do the work. No, yeah. we can do the work for you, but we're gonna car we're gonna charge you for that. <laughs>
how could you use this for business consulting? Well, just look at me. That's what I do. Business consulting. You could hack my system. Go to govconcheatcode.com and realize how to hack it. But, you know, the real beauty, if you get our 350 package, you can immediately be ready to go for business consulting. How? is because we've already got the stuff laid out for you. Most business consulting for high ticket sales, um, you're scheduling a call, right? So we've already done that. Just get signed up. You're going to come here to calendars. You're going to go ahead and set yourself up in the calendar. And here goes the link to your calendar. You would now pass this link out to people. Now, I don't have this set up. Let me go to my actual one so you can see. So you know, you would end up passing your link out. You can set up all your own calendars, charge them right here for this calendar as you set it up. So that means that anytime anybody visits this link and they set a meeting up for this, uh, you would charge them. If you are doing a, a, a consulting firm, usually you'll give them like a 15 minute, um, um, you know, whatever call to talk or whatnot. You set this up in 15 minute intervals at the time of day that you want to do it, the whole nine, they go ahead, schedule their stuff out and you will automate this process. Again, when you get the 350 link, we're actually going to have all of that set up for you. So what ends up happening, you could schedule for calls for no shows, cancel people that need to reschedule. If I come all the way back here. Uh, for webinar confirmations, if you have a webinar that you're doing, that'll all be set up. Um, here you go. Your appointment reminder. So somebody sets up an email for, I mean, schedules an appointment. The trigger goes off. It sends them an email confirmation. We have it set for 24 hours later. So you see, I got three people that I got meetings coming up this week um, sitting in the hopper right here. They're going to get alerted 24 hours before the appointment through text message and email that we got a call coming up one hour before the appointment. They're going to get a call. They're going to get a text message and an email five minutes before the appointment. They're going to get an email and a text reminder that they need to get on this call. So now we don't lose track of, you know, people saying I forgot to call, especially if you're building the business people like I didn't get this. I didn't get that. Well, again, that'd be a lie. Because I don't want to click on my actual live account right there, but you'll be able to come over here to the conversations tab and see what emails went out to them in automations, what text messages went out to them in automation. So you don't have to worry about people telling you stories about what they did and didn't get anymore. Maybe they didn't look. That'd be a different story, uh, but they got it. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's how you use this bad boy for consulting. And again, your opportunity section should have all of your clients in here. Remember, you don't just have to do GovCon. You can create your own pipeline of opportunities and set up your own consulting agency of how you want to do it. Uh, you said there's a fee for text messages and emails, pennies on the dollars. That depending on how many text messages you use. Yes. So let me actually come here. Uh, so when you go to set up your uh, your account, yeah, I put this one. You're going to end up getting this phone number. So you're going to come here. You're going to create a phone number and that's going to be like a dollar and 15 cent a month. You can make your phone number wherever you want to be. That's going to be the phone number to your system. So anytime you want people to call your business, text your business or anything of that nature, you're going to use this number. Uh, you could pick up the phone if you wanted to, or you could set this, which we advise to not answer the call and send automation text messages out or emails and ask them do they need some help, especially if you're a one man show. But if you have a team and you got somebody that can sit on the phones, by all means, we can transfer this phone call number right here to anybody on the team. So if you had like a help desk, you can rotate this call that as the number comes in, rotate it who it goes to. All right. Uh, oh, we did set the number up. So this is this is my number for Malmar. Um, that we're going to have here. But anyways, once I get here, you're going to come as in my business profile. Yeah. Here's your missed text message back to enable the calls. Um, trying to see that's where you're doing, um, your time for, uh, when your company is open. Uh, if you want to connect your emails right there, you know what? 
actually have to look up the exact. Let me see exactly what the conversion rate is for text messages. Give me two seconds and I'll tell you. Uh, so the current conversion at text messages is uh, you are getting at uh, point zero point zero 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 nine four per minute for phone calls is how much you would be charged if you actually picked up the call, which is why we don't pick up any calls. Uh, if you wanted to make calls out from that number, it'd be point zero one five four cents per minute. And for text messages, uh, it is point zero zero eight seven a segment, which is uh, a text essentially. Um, so that's why I said pennies on the dollar. Uh, also, when you get the premium package, you get $25 every month in um, complimentary credits to send messages out and whatnot. So if you don't have a, like, if you don't have a list of a thousand people that you're um, a thousand or more people that you're sending messages out to every month, then you won't burn through that $25 a month in credit um, as far as sending messages out. Emails is point zero 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 seven four three cent a email okay uh so for your credit whether you use it for emails or text so for thirteen thousand four hundred and sixty emails to be sent out that would equal ten dollars just so you can have a kind of an idea uh for ten dollars in sms credit you'll be able to send out uh, 1,150 messages. So again, hopefully that gives you an idea of, you know, that whole thing, how much that stuff costs. Okay. Uh, and there's other features too, but you know, I don't want to dive into all of those as far as pricing and whatnot, cause you're not, you probably don't need them for right now. Um, but hopefully that answered your question there. Okay. Uh, love the link tree. Do you need a general contractor's license to win construction contracts in GovCon? You need to read the opportunity uh, to see exactly what it's asking you for. Um, you know, I would say yes and no, because you don't need to be a prime to the contract. So if you're not the prime, then nah, you don't need a general contractor's license. You know, uh, you could be a sub to that. The prime need to have everything under control. Now the prime may ask you to have a license, different story. Uh, they may not, uh, but read the opportunity. Opportunities always tell you what you need. Again, that goes to the CRM. You know, you guys really, a lot of these questions that you guys ask, uh, I know you guys don't know about government contracting a hundred percent. That's why you have the GovCon market. So you can read the opportunities and get a complete understanding of what it's asking you for. And then you pull the information out you put it here in your CRM tool and now you can stay up to date. And when you go to score yourself, you'll know if you're going to win or not because your score is based off what you read and comprehended and executed. So if you know you ain't execute nothing then you ain't got no good score, you could lie to yourself. Uh, I don't know what good that's going to do, but you would know exactly what your score is so you can understand what's happening. You see the score of an 80, the score of a 60. While it's sitting here in review or in progress, this score should be going up, right? And you'll know based off the scoring criteria of the government if you got a good score or not. You don't have to ask me. I don't have your money. <laughs> That's the one thing about this, this space. It really don't matter what my opinion is or anybody else's opinion that speaks about government contracting. The only opinion that matters is the person who put the solicitation out and who wants you to give it to them. It only matters what they want to see and how they want it. Whatever Travis has said, I don't have your money. So don't listen to me because you would be setting yourself up for failure. Okay. But if you read that opportunity and then you say, oh, I need this. And I remember Travis mentioned this about that. Well, then that's when you should listen to what I said about that particular thing that's needed for that particular opportunity. 
If you didn't read the opportunity, nothing about government contracting will ever make sense to people. You'll just be in a big circle because you're going to hear so many different things about government contracting. And that's because it is all true. It just don't be true for you because it ain't true for the opportunity that you're looking at. So hopefully that helps you out there. I believe I've answered all y'all questions that you have had so far. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me here. Once again, make sure you visit sbmoneyflow.com. Get yourself signed up. Get started. Start building out that pipeline of government contracting opportunities. And once you get that done, start jumping into this Facebook group and finding out all of the other cool features that you guys are going to have access to with the Pure Money's SB Money Flow. Dive into it. Have some fun. Don't forget take videos, create content of you utilizing the software and building your systems out so you can get affiliate commissions. Tell somebody else about it and you're going to start getting paid off of it. If you get that last package, the uh, professional package or the premium package, sorry, um, and you pay annually, you will also get access to my one year GovCon program. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Once again, I appreciate you. Make sure that you guys continue to like, subscribe to the channel. I got to give y'all a round of applause before I get up out of here. You guys have been doing a tremendous job of liking our platform, sharing our platform out and watching our platform, which these are things that we need to keep growing on YouTube. So I have to give y'all more kudos because without you guys, none of this stuff is possible. We couldn't be able to educate all of these amazing business owners, minority business owners around the world, as you guys can see, without the help and support from each and every one of you guys. So I do want to give each and every one of you guys kudos again, and thanks for helping a brother out and continuing to help a brother out making this channel grow. So have a great night, everybody. Oh, and if you get a chance, it's only right. Go visit that Apple store. Go visit that Google Play store and download that Pure Money song. Shout outs to my guy, Trey. We always give him a shout out for the Pure Money song. Again, we couldn't make any of this happen without the community. The community, the Pure Money gang, y'all on top of it. And when we say gang, it's gathering and networking genuinely. This will be done when the song goes off. I love you all. I'll see you guys here later on this week. Have a great night. Same thing. Okay. Steady swishing on the competition. Swish. We ain't tripping about the opposition. Trip. We on a mission and we got a vision. Yeah. People in me, we believe we got a lot. I give a couple in the bag, homie. I ain't got a brag. Even when the hater try to doubt me, I just got another contract. Watch the dollars follow back. Let me tell you one thing about me. I said I like my money pure. I like my money pure. Okay. On money never stepped on. We increasing positivity until the stress gone. Satan tried to hold the squad back, but we kept on. We ain't making this up, no rev long. I ain't trying to make you blush, but this a highlight. We send the high vibes, homie. This a high life. We rising far above the game. That's a fly by, but we still connected to the source. That's that Wi Fi. Reception now, we answer the call. This squad taking questions and we answer them all. <laughs> we don't wanna see you fall, we wanna see you ball. We all gon' eat with the peeps, we gon' feed them all. People in the bag, homie, I ain't gotta brag. Even when the hater try to doubt me, I just got another contract. Watch the dollars follow back. Let me tell you one thing about me.
Yeah. I said I like my money pure. I like my money pure. Okay, I like my money pure. I said I like my money pure. Oh no, I like my money pure. It's just different. Yeah. You already know what it is.